welcome back so in today's video we will learn how to multiply and divide decimal numbers by base quantities or by 10 100 and 1000 okay so whenever we multiply any decimal number by 10 100 1000 10000 etc that time our decimal will shift to the right side it will always shift to the right hand side okay now for this let's do some questions so the first one is 78.12 multiplied by 10 so see in 10 there is only one zero so our decimal will shift to the right hand side by one place and our answer will become 7.8 1.2 okay now second one is 6.354 multiplied by 100 first we will check the number of zeros there are two zeros in 100 so while multiplying our decimal will shift to the right hand side by two places so first one and two. That means now our decimal will come after five. So answer will be six hundred thirty-five point four. Okay. Similarly, the third one. The question is twenty-three point eight multiply by hundred. Again, in hundred there are two zeros. So our decimal will shift to the right hand side again by two places so one place is eight after eight and there is no second place so we will put one zero and the decimal will move to after zero and our answer will be two three eight zero you can put a decimal here and after decimal you can put zero it won't make any difference and next is zero point six one one multiplied by thousand in thousand there are three zeros this means our decimal will shift to the right hand side by three number of places that means one two and three our decimal will come after one now so answer will be six one one point zero okay next one 0 0.0054 multiplied by 1000. Again in 1000 there are 3 zeros. So decimal will shift to the right hand side by 3 places. So 1, 2 and 3. This means now decimal will come between 5 and 4. So answer will be 5.4. Okay or we can put 0 also. It will not make any difference. Next is 93.52 multiplied by 10. In 10 there is only 1 0. The decimal will shift to the right hand side by only 1 place. Now our decimal will come after 5. So answer will be 93 and 5 also. That means 935.2. Okay, so while multiplying, always remember that our decimal will shift to the right hand side by the number of places there are zeros. Like in 10 by one place, when we multiply by 100, it will shift by two places. In 1000, it will shift by three places. And suppose there are 10,000. That means in 10,000, there are four zeros. So this means our decimal will shift to the right hand side by 4 places. So now we will do some questions of dividing decimal numbers by 10, 100 or 1000. So these are some questions I have written. Let's start doing. So just remember that while dividing the decimal numbers, our decimal will shift to the left hand side. To the left hand side. Now, first one, 5.69 divided by 10. In 10, how many zeros? There is only one zero. 
This means our decimal will shift to the left hand side by one place only. This means our decimal is here. Now it will shift to the left side to this side by one place. Now the decimal will come before 5. This means our answer will be 0.569. And before this point we can put 0. It won't make any difference. Now the second is 356.30 divided by 100. Now again our first step is to check the number of zeros. In 100 there is 20. That means our decimal will shift to the left hand side by two number of places. That means 1 and 2. Now our decimal will come between 3 and 5. And our answer will be 3.5630. Similarly, third one. 4984.90 divided by 1000. So in 1000 there are 3 zeros. This means now our decimal will shift to the left side by 3 number of places. So it will shift 1, 2 and 3. Now our decimal will come between 4 and 9. And our answer will become 4.98. Four nine zero. This will be our answer. Next one, ninety nine point zero five divided by hundred. In hundred there are two zeros. So again, this will shift to the left side by two places. So this means it will come one and two. Now the decimal will come before nine. So nine nine zero. Five and we will put one zero here also before decimal. Now next is 1248.98 divided by 1000. So again we know that there are three zeros in 1000. So our decimal is there. It will shift to the left side by three places. One, two, three. Now our decimal will come between one and two. And our answer will become one point. 24898. Okay. Now this last one. 73.62 divided by 10. So in 10 there is only one zero. So decimal will shift to the left side by only one place. So our decimal will shift to the left side and now this will come between 7 and 3. So our answer will become 7.362. So while multiplying or dividing the decimal numbers by 10, 100 or 1000, only remember that while we multiply that time our decimal will shift to the right side. Okay. And when we divide that time our decimal will shift to the left side. So now I hope that you understood how to multiply and divide the decimal numbers by 10, 100 or 1000. So if you like this video then please share it and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Till then goodbye. Take care.